Hey guys, the Black Critter Guy. Hope you enjoyed my live chat yesterday. If you did not get a chance to watch that epic live chat, I'll put an annotation right here. Just click that link and I'll post it on my Facebook page, which I know you all liked, right? As I mentioned in my live chat, I'm starting a new segment here on the Black Critter Guy called Why I Won't Watch Something. And I came up with this idea about a week ago because I thought to myself, there are a lot of movies and animes and TV shows that when I look at them, I just say to myself, Nope, not for me. I, I don't want to watch that. But instead of ignoring its existence, I thought I'd explain to you guys why I wouldn't watch a certain movie, anime, or TV show because everybody deserves an explanation, especially you guys, my subscribers. You see, I'm not the kind of guy that says he doesn't want to watch something just because. I always have a validated reason as to why I won't watch a certain movie, anime, or TV show. Hell, you all know the reason why I didn't watch After Earth. I knew that movie wasn't going to be any good because M. Night Shyamalan directed and co wrote it, and I have no faith that this guy could ever make another good movie. So instead of wasting two hours of my life that I know was going to be bad, I decided not to watch it because I deserve better. And I know a lot of people out there might say, well, don't knock it to you. You tried, man. Well, technically, I did try it. I saw some trailers, I saw some clips, and nothing from the trailers or the clips made me think that this movie was going to be anything spectacular or something worth watching. And as you all know from the title above, obviously, the first movie that we're going to discuss on this new segment is the documentary One Direction this is us. Now before you all start putting hate comments and disliking this video, let me clarify a few things for you. This is not a rant video and I do not hate the band One Direction. In fact, I like a few of their songs. I like That's What Makes You Beautiful. I love Let Me Kiss You. In fact, their new song, Best Song Ever, I, I kind of find it catchy in that really annoying way, but it's catchy nonetheless. But just because I like a few of their songs and I don't outright hate them doesn't mean that I'm going to push myself to go to the movie theaters this weekend to go see their movie and I have two reasons as to why I don't want to see their movie. The first reason is a very big reason and that is when I watch a documentary I love watching documentaries that highlight a struggle that a person or a group goes through. It shows the behind the scenes effort that goes into making a masterpiece. I mean some of my favorite documentaries are the Jaws documentary when they talked about how the shark would not work properly yet it became the first ever summer blockbuster or how Star Wars had so many technical difficulties and literally drove George Lucas to the point of just stressing out, yet it became one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time. Or Heart of Darkness, which was a documentary about the making of Apocalypse Now and how much technical issues, actor issues, so many things went wrong with that movie, yet it paid off tremendously. I love documentaries that show the human will to triumph over trials and tribulations and everything paying off at the end because of the hard work and passion that they put into it. With the One Direction documentary, you have none of those elements. Yes, I know it's a different form of media, but I've also seen documentaries where they show artists overcoming drug addictions, overcoming stress from work, overcoming family issues, and coming back in full swing. Again, highlighting that theme of the human will to overcome trials and tribulation. One Direction had no trials or tribulations to conquer. They were going to be an immediate hit the minute that they came on screen. There was no calculated risk when forming the band One Direction. They were a surefire thing the moment that they formed. They just followed the same formula that boy bands before them and boy bands after them will follow. Five attractive boys that can sing and dance. Surefire hit right there. And for me, this documentary shows no real passion in it. It has none of those elements of the human struggle. It just feels like a cash grab. And honestly, of course, it's a cash grab. It's a movie starring One Direction in a concert in 3D. It was made solely to take money from the fans of One Direction because they're obviously going to see it. And that's the problem that I have with these concerts slash documentary type films. They're all just blatant cash grabs to cash in on the latest craze. Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds Tour. Even Michael Jackson's This Is It was a blatant cash grab to cash in on the death of the celebrity. Although I consider it the exception to the rule, and here's why. Because I actually saw the passion that Michael put in into his comeback performance. He really worked hard in, you know, getting the dance moves right and picking the best dances in the world. He wanted to make his comeback 
epic. And I actually saw that in This Is It. Although I still feel like it's a blatant cash grab because they released it months after his death. But that doesn't change the fact that I did enjoy the documentary because I love to see Michael at work. It was the first time ever I saw Michael actually preparing for some type of concert. I thought it was kind of amazing to see this 50 year old man you know putting a lot of effort and passion into what he loves to do which is perform now you could make the argument well they also put a lot of hard work and passion in their performances for their concerts and to that i will agree that they do put a lot of hard work when they're preparing for a concert i mean duh they're about to perform in front of thousands upon thousands of people they don't want to have a shitty show passion that's kind of where I draw the line. And for me, seeing a lack of passion in this movie, that brings me to my second and final point, and that is, I'm not the target demographic for this movie. This movie was made for the fans of One Direction, and they probably might see something in it that I wouldn't see, because I'm not a big fan of theirs. And that's what it really comes down to your taste in documentary films or the subject matter of the film. As I mentioned before, my favorite types of documentaries are the ones that highlight the human will to overcome trials and tribulations. I'm not a big fan of concerts slash documentaries showing when the band members were this young or their families or them fucking around and hanging out with their fans. It just doesn't interest me. And since I'm not their target demographic and it doesn't interest me, I see no real reason to go see the movie. And also, I would have just hated being in that theater, feeling like a creeper, sitting with all these preteen girls, screaming when they see One Direction on the screen. My eardrums would be bleeding for weeks. And those were my reasons as to why I won't watch One Direction, This Is Us. And I would like to know your opinions about this new segment. Did you like it? Do you think I should continue doing it? Are you a fan of One Direction? Are you going to go see the movie? Did you agree? with my points or disagree I would like to hear some feedback from you guys so be sure to comment below and let me know and as always guys check out my Facebook page if you have not and until then hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel welcome to the black critic guide like this video if you really enjoyed it and I'm Tony Wilder the second from the black critic guide till then peace YouTube